Christian apologetics is the defense against accusations from those who try to discredit biblical faith. One might wonder, what are the biblical foundations on which such a defense of Christian beliefs is based? What does the New Testament say concerning the historical practice of Christian apologetics? What do we find in the Bible to justify such reasoning and defense of the doctrines of the New Covenant? After all, the Bible is the authority for the beliefs and practices of the Church of Jesus Christ. It must first be understood that the New Testament offers a clear commandment concerning the practice of apologetics by believers. Secondly, it gives convincing examples of the early church practice of this great responsibility, offering defense of the validity of biblical faith. The biblical instruction that dictates the practice of apologetics is found in Peter's first epistle. As the apostle tells the children of God, Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. In this inspired text, the verb translated give an answer is linked to the concept of apologetics since it was the main legal verb for the justification and persuasion in favor of a particular claim or position. It was the specific action of the legal defense to give an answer to those who would accuse someone of a crime in a Roman court of law. Peter in this text is thus ordering Christians to defend or justify their faith in front of an unsaved world. He then continues to explain the goal of such a witness to the truth by saying, Have a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. Thus the practice of apologetics has a firm support in the New Testament. It's inevitably a great responsibility given to the Church of Christ, a great task presented to believers by their ultimate authority, the Word of God itself. Likewise, the New Testament offers several examples of the practice of apologetics by early Christians. In his epistle to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul affirms that he himself faithfully practiced this defense of the faith. He declares that he had been ordained by God for the defense and confirmation of the gospel. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 17, he reiterates that the Savior himself established him for the defense of the gospel in service and ministry. In light of God's will for believers, Paul wanted to be a good apologist for the glory of God. He wanted to offer a good defense of the historical facts of the Christian faith, a good argument on which to base belief in the gospel in such a way that the unsaved might understand the soundness of Christianity. He even affirmed that by his example, other believers were being encouraged in the defense of the faith. As many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Paul understood that Christians, seeing his defense of the faith before the Jews and pagan authorities, could also seize God's grace and produce a courageous defense of their faith. On ten occasions, the New Testament associates the defense of the faith with Paul's ministry. He was certainly a good example of a believer who wholeheartedly wanted to practice the responsibility given to the church to defend the truths of the gospel. As an example of Paul's desire to defend the faith, the Word of God relates the following exchange between Paul and King Agrippa. It states, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth the hand and answered for himself, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be an expert in all the customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore I beseech thee to hear me patiently. Christian apologetics is built on a clear New Testament commandment. It is established on the examples of defense by the apostolic church and on the fact that every generation and every people need believers who will make an effort to explain the basis for the Christian faith so that unbelievers may come unto the knowledge of the truth. Apologetics is part of God's will. It's a great responsibility of the children of God. Let's be faithful apologists for the glory of Jesus Christ.